What is up internet? I'm the nice one and today we got part 3 of that tutorial video that we had been making last week. It's more of a tip but basically we're going to go through that model that we built together and we're going to add thickness to the armor to make it more realistic. Basically we're just using the extrude function if you want to kind of keep your time short but if you want to see how I go through it, sit back, relax, and let me make the mistakes for you. What's up guys, I'm back with uh, the character model that we were building yes, last time. Uh, so if you remember, we started with a basic uh, character shape and then we added armor pieces all along his entire body. But something I forgot to show you guys is actually what we made in the last tutorial was a bunch of faces, outward facing faces of armor. But we didn't really give it any kind of thickness or really give it any kind of uh, substance to it. It just kind of looks like a bunch of planes oriented in different directions. But I wanted to kind of show you that because it's the thickness that really sells the idea that what the guy is wearing is armor. So in order to do that, it's actually super simple. All you got to do is uh, go into your model, go into the model with the armor pieces, uh, hit object mode, go select, select the object that you want to add some thickness to, go to this extrude function here. And when you click it, uh, you'll see that your normals will be inverted. And then you'll also see some options here. What you want to do is up the thickness. So for example, if we turn up the thickness to, let's say, 0.05, hit tab, you'll see actually that uh, we got here. We've added some thickness to the shoulder pauldrons. But you know, uh, it's a little too much for me. So instead, I think what I'll go with is 0 0.025. Yeah, that's looking good. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the entire, that's a super simple way of adding uh, weight and substance to your character models. Basically, you just go around, apply that, apply that edit, and then go around and apply thickness to each armor piece that you want to have thickness added onto. If you remember, we're mirroring over one half so that when you use the world X symmetry, you'll be able to select both. So that kind of makes your life a bit quicker. So I'll do the same thing here. Select this model here, go extrude thickness and I'll bring this one to about 0 0.015 to give it some weights yeah it looks good apply that let's do the same thing here go object select this and if you hit G it's a faster way of using the previous function that you had used before so hit G pulls up the extrude 0 0.025 yeah that looks good and uh, Pretty much, we'll just go around and apply thickness to each armor piece to give it a bit of weight and substance. So hit G, go here, 0 0.025. Yeah, it's looking good. This I didn't add thickness to because it is a, uh, their banners, right? They hang their cloth. So they don't really need to have those extra polys to them. I mean, you can add a tiny bit of thickness because uh, Fabric technically does have a width to it, but you know, I like to leave it as planes just to make my life easier and to save on tries and polygon and polygons just to make it a little more efficient. But uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of add some weight around all the models here. Go G, so 0 0.015 on this one. Yeah, you know, that's actually even, that even that's a little bit much. So we'll go 0. 0, let's go 8, 0 0.08. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's good. I think that's good. 0 0.08 on this one right here. Object, deselect. And actually, I think I'm gonna have to bring out this banner a tiny bit because the thickness kind of caused some, uh, what do you call it? The thickness caused a little bit of unwanted uh, unwanted uh, clipping and we don't want that right so let's bring it out tiny bit like that object five okay cool cool let's go one to turn off smoothing okay so that has some thickness this has some thickness let's add it to the gauntlets right here go G Let's go 0 0.025. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it looks good. Nice. Okay, cool. Object 
vertex. You know, actually, I'll bring these gauntlets in a tiny bit because they are a little thick, a little big for what we're trying to go for here. Yeah, okay, cool, sweet. Uh, now select this, G, 0 0.015. I'm kind of picking values based on what I think looks good. There's no real kind of um, like set way of doing it. You can kind of apply, un I mean, you could apply a uniform thickness, but in my imagination, I think these shoulder plates would be a lot heavier than these ones. These would be more heavier than this. This would be light because you need to have some movement in your body. So, you know, you can add, you can take it, you can apply whatever thickness you think feels right. I'm just kind of going by what I think a typical um, armor piece would be in that section. Like for example, this, this would be 0 0.025 because it's right at the hands, you know, like it's, it needs some kind of uh, protection there. And it's kind of like the outer piece, which would make it, which would make it uh, be more protective. Okay, and then, uh, you know, I'll add a bit of thickness here to extrude 0 0.015, take it out. You know, I can even go a little bit thinner there. So 0 0.05, 0 0.05. Yeah, that's good. Cause it's like a leather belt, right? There's a bit of thickness to it to give it some difference between fabric with the tabard right here, but yeah, that's good. Okay, cool, I like that. And then let's just do the legs now. You know, actually, we don't really even need to do the legs, to be honest with you, because what we can actually do is just go edge, select all this, and just bridge it. Oh, I guess not. Uh, let's try turning off the world function. Select this, bridge. There we go. And just kind of bridge it to close off the, uh, the uh, yeah. Because I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't really add thickness to this because all you you really the only time the only place you're going to see that thickness is right here at the top of the leg armor and so it's creating polys that you don't really need which would which can cause uh you know some uh some issues in the future with by having too holly poly uh finish uh, but yeah that's pretty much how i would do it in terms of uh adding thickness to our previous character armor piece and I think the thickness really does add a little more detail to it. it gives it really some substance some weight to him and then you can take it even one step further and start applying the uh, start adding the uh, smooth feature in Maya so that you can see how it would look like if you smoothed out the armor pieces obviously if you were to do that you would have to go in and bevel all the edges so that you not have a nice hard kind of crisp line uh, but that's if you want to get more, like, adding those bevels will obviously up your poly count on your character model. So you really got to make a decision on if you want to go low poly, mid, or high poly characters. It really depends on what you're going to be using them for. I think I'm going to keep them with here, like, at the simple no smoothing. Because I kind of like the blocky kind of look to it. And it works. But if you guys want, maybe I'll make a, a short clip of how you can apply the smoothing feature and how you can add bevels and how you can add hard, sh hard, uh, hard lines on uh, smoothed out models so that you get that really nice crisp edge. Because for example, if you go here and you smooth it out, like you end up with curvature all along, but maybe you wanna have, you want the smoothness here, but at the edge over here, you want this kind of sharp face. So I'll, eh, if you guys want, I'll show you how to do that next time. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much it. And now you got a character with some sweet, sweet, some sweet, sweet armor that's ready to go rig and then bring into your game or your animation or whatever you're gonna use it for. But anyway, guys, hope you liked the video. Drop a like or a comment if you thought it was useful. Give me a question if you have if you if you have struggles, and I'll try my best to help you out. Yeah, but anyways, um, hope you liked the video. I'll talk to you later. Have a nice night.